Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Discworld 2. When last we left off, we were in Jelly Baby, trying to find a way to save Death's life. The main reason we're trying to save Death's life is because Death is dying. Because Bobby the more boy. like Death we became, the more mortal Death became. Yuri, tell me about the Fountain of Youth, ah, will what? you? Ah. Hello. All right, what about these other mystic powers? We've already done this dialogue, I think. We have the fabulous pyramid powers of time and space. We have the mystic men sitting in deserts. And we have cut-rate camels. Although they're not quite so mystic, but they can't half spit. Oh, really? Is that all? You want more? Then we have the fountain of youth. Yes, indeed, you can get a second childhood without all the dribbling and unfortunate bad type smells. Now that sounds more like it. Where might I find that? Oh, uh, I've forgotten. When they call your people fakers, they're not joking, are they? How dare you cast aspersions on my mighty powers of, um, uh, 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 what's it called? It was on the tip of my tongue. Mine's gone blank. Um, oh, oh, I... Memory, there is a prospector what comes through here every now and again. He goes everywhere. He's been around for centuries. You ask him if he's ever seen a greater sage than Yuri Jella. I will if I see him. Goodbye. Now, will I see him? That is the question. He must appear somewhere. Every now and again, I think Bobby he appears. Boys. I hope I'm not in the situation where he won't appear because I have accidentally, like, triggered him once and he'll never reappear. So where is he? Let's just go, shall we? And then we'll come back. Is he here? He is not here. How long do I need to wait for him to actually arrive? I hope he's going to arrive soonish. Hmm. I have to just wait around, I guess, aren't I? Oh, there he is! There he is! Aha! This is the person we're looking for. And I don't think we can follow him without... Well, we'll lose him in the desert. He knows the desert and we don't. So there are two things that we must do. The first thing that we must do is look through that saddlebag. Hey, look, a canteen. I will steal this. A pair of saddlebags. Paired, of course, so you can lose twice as many articles as if you were carrying a single. And now, we shall lay the trap. They are following the rotten arm. Let's put the rotten arm in the saddlebag. Very sneakily. So that now, when he comes back, We can follow where the vultures go. The vultures start following. And we follow the vultures. Where are you going? Where is he going? He's going around in a lot of circles, that's for sure. He has disappeared. Where it? Aha! Well, it'll sure make a change from bottled mineral water. It will. Let's go. Let us see this fountain of youth. Hey, there it is. A pedestal. Hmm. I've always wanted to be placed on one of these. There's lots of sand in the bottom. The water is spurting up through a little hole in the base. Can we try and drink it? I can't hold water in my bare hands, and I'll only get wet trying to get some sand. Why don't we get some in the canteen? We do have a canteen, after all. There we go. Water of youth. Ah! Well, would you like a second life, Rinswind? A canteen full of water from the Fountain of Youth. Can we drink it? Nah, thanks, I'm not thirsty. Really? Okay, fine. We actually want to be a little sneaky about this. We don't actually want that water in a sense. We do, however, want to plug up the fountain for now. It'll come back. 
sand. Well, at least it's honest crumbled up silica, not that Deb Polyp stuff from 4X. We need that. I need something to put it in first. What do you think we have to put it in? We have an hourglass, don't we? This should do the trick. You're basically cheating at the whole death thing, Rincewind, aren't you? Ta-da! Definitely cheating at it. Ah! It's the gratuitous 3D scene! My favourite. Very gratuitous. At least the game wasn't lying. Okay, why are you trying to kill me? Oh well, game over, I guess. Ah. For the assassin? Nice shot, Death. I forgot to shout four. Oh well. <laughs> Looks like death is back in business. Epilogue. Queen Kong. That is ominous game. Oh look, it's the plot of the game. Excellent. And those are the credits we saw at the beginning of the game. At the end! I guess everything's sorted. Oh. I think the film's gone out of rack. Rincewind! Pay attention! <coughs> oh dear. Oh, Rincewind. There we go. Good as new. It's not good as new at all, is it? There we go. It's back. Now, how on earth could this go wrong? Okay, we're back to end, which is where it was before, and back to here again. Ah! That's how it can go wrong. Yep! It can go very wrong! I suppose the shades have seen worse. This is very familiar to a movie I've seen once, I think. Yeah. Can't put my finger on what, though. I'm not sure whether they spent enough on the script for this movie. It seems to be all just special effects. Hmm? Is it intermission yet? I was hoping for something nice and sticky on a stick. The only thing sticky around here is this finale. Get on with it! Oh, hello! I'm here now to solve everything. Undead, but still trying. Look at that lot. Like a school of guppies at feeding time. Indeed. And it's Dibbler! My old mate Dibbler. It is my ultimate aim to convince him to sell himself off to the army for target practice. I don't think it's going to work. 
There is a broom, though, that we need. Aha, a broom. I've heard of the theory behind them, of course, but there's usually bylaws against apprentice wizards using them. And Granny. Now, Granny isn't the sort who suffers fools gladly. As a suffering fool myself, I'll go along with it. We need stuff from Dibbler. Bladders! Dibbler. Get your bladders here! We really need those, actually, annoyingly. Hello! Bladders! Get your bladders here! Only a groat apiece, and even then I'm cutting my own throat. Bladders? Are you taking the pi- Bladders? Bladders, my friend, a rustic forerunner of the more familiar rubber balloon, as enjoyed by children. This is absolutely true. Who says computers aren't educational? I've got sheep bladders, vole bladders, moose bladders. You want a bladder? I'm your man. You know, I believe you. You can do other things besides blow them up, you know. Oh, dozens of uses a good bladder. Although, right now, I admit I can only think of uh, one or two. Uh, well, uh, one, really. Do we really want one of those animal bladders? That's right, Squire. It's toys for children. Wonderful idea, eh? Look, do you really think this is an appropriate part of an animal's offal to be touting about as a child's toy? Well, uh, I suppose you're right, sir. But the stomach gets used for haggis and the intestines get used for sausage skins. Wait, brilliant! There's one bit no one ever uses. I can get hold of a pile of them right now. No, stop right there. This has gone far enough. Bladders, I can almost understand. But I will not allow you to run about giving children toys made out of... of... Skulls, sir. What's wrong with that? I can make little drums, castanets, little money boxes. Skulls. <sighs> oh, good. Right. Well, that's OK, then. You just go and sell some animal skulls later on. It'll have to be later, Squire. I'm still trying to shift all those animal colon footstools I made up yesterday. Oh, dear. Now that's free enterprise. You see, that's what makes this city great. A man's free to reuse the internal organs of dangerous fauna in any way he sees fit, no matter what the health department says. We need those bladders. All right. I'd like to buy some bladders, please. Certainly, Squire. Now then, what sort? We've got your rats, uh, your vole, that's the field vole, meadow vole, and the killer clatchian vole. The killer vole? Oh, yeah. You know the ones. Six feet long, covered in poisonous spines, with incisors like chisel blades. But I thought voles were sweet little things, you know, small and brown and covered with fur. Not these ones, sir. Take your arm off in an instant. They've levelled old continents, obliterated ships filled with puppies, baby kittens and innocent nuns. Wait a minute. These look like sheep bladders. It comes to something when a poor sheep is finding its essential organs floating around as kiddies balloons. Sheep, sir? Never, sir. Catch me arming sweet little creatures with curly wool and big brown eyes? Nah, not on my life. Cut me own throat if I tell a lie. These have been taken from Clatchian voles. A life form so foul, sir, so venomous, so putrid and psychotic that the hunters, sir, the hunters were all awarded medals for services to humanity. Clatchian voles is like rabid sharks on legs, sir. Oh, well, that's all right, then. In that case, give me some of them. Right you are, Squire. I just hope they had time to go to the lavatory first, though. We have some bladders. We actually need those, so let's put them in our inventory. Can we talk to... Bladders! Get your bladders here! Can we talk to Windle? What are you still doing here? Doing? Well, I'm not dying, that's for sure. I've tried drowning, I've tried stabbing, I've tried hanging. And that's an extremely boring way to spend a night hanging around. Yes, well, I... Then I've tried poison. Poison snakes, poison ivy, poison potions. I even tried me some of that deep water blowfish, but do you think I'd drop dead? Not a bit of it. I went to the worst reputed restaurant in Angmore Pork. And that was hard to find, let me tell you. I got a meal made by the owner's pet rat, called William. Still nothing. Can't even get a decent case of food poisoning in the town these days. In my day and age, you went in fear of your life. Every time you went into a street cafe, there was your basic food poisoning, your lead poisoning from the cooking pots, uh, ground glass from the mixing pestles. Yes, look, I really have to go. And it bloody cost me 17 pence. 17! Just for a bit of fly-blown blowfish. For that kind of money, you, you'd expect me to throw in William the Rat as well. I ask you, 
How's a body supposed to get its last rites in this day and age? I am going to die if it's the last thing I do! It might very well be, Windle. But when we come back, folks, the dramatic conclusion of Discworld 2. And I'll catch you guys then. See you then. Later.